Good morning, you guys, and welcome to today's task. For today's task, I am lining out where our roundabout was gonna go. We've already designated that this is going to be my shop. And over here is going to be our house. But out here, right off the house, we wanna put a roundabout. And we initially had it drawn up by our architect, but the drawing that he gave us doesn't quite meet our fire standards for this house. So it would be just fine if EMS didn't have to come all the way down to our house to service us in the event of an accident. But since our street ends clear up there and 850 feet later, you end up in front of the house. That road and roundabout now have to meet fire code so the EMS can get in here, their largest engine. So our roundabout radius was only 42 feet. We have to make it 46 feet. Not a huge change, but the overall dimensions changed and it kind of disrupts the placement of it. So initially, this is the garage of the house and the roundabout started right about here. But if I add six more feet all the way to it, I'm actually starting over here. And then it gets even closer to my shop. And also we've had to make the road 20 feet wide. So the island part of the roundabout is going to be uh, realistically the same size, but we've had to account for how much more road we're putting in and how it's gonna look and where it's gonna sit. And through a few trial and errors, I figured out how to really mark this so it's the simplest project you'll ever do. Now, what I'm gonna show you is how to figure out a radius. A radius is really simple. It's just half of the diameter of the circle. So from the center to the outermost portion, that's your radius. We know our radius has to be 46 feet, which is 92 feet diameter. Great, what do we do with it? Now you've gotta be able to put your center and then kind of pivot all the way around. When I initially started, this line right there, you can't hardly see, is a roundabout that I designed. This line is a roundabout that I designed. This is a roundabout that I designed. I had an idea that I thought I'll put one stake in at the center and one at 46 feet and we'll just wing it from there. I found myself painting a million lines realizing that's not what I wanted to do. But I learned a little trick. If you take two stakes out 46 feet, doesn't matter which direction from your center, you can kind of determine where the center has to be. So I'm gonna show you a little trick here. If you take three stakes and a hammer and one string, you can make this work. So you take your string and determine what your radius is going to be. I knew it had to be 46 feet, so I wound up 46 feet on that string, 46 feet on that string, and I tied them to the center here. So now if I pull this out, I'm 46 feet from this pole, or opposite this way. This is center, 46 feet this way. You get it, it's simple, grab a hammer, let's go. I'll tell you what, these sunrises at this property never get old. They are incredible. I know this is where I wanna put this stake, this first outer line, string line, but I know I gotta unwind this. So I'm just gonna kinda of drag it out there and let my string be loose somewhere across this property. Pull all of your string out, just so you've got the outermost dimension of your radius. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go, our string is just at least loose and now we can set our stake. So right here and right there is my dimensions of my garage and I know I'm as far out as I wanna be and I know I'm about centered with it, ballpark. So this is about the outermost dimension I want for my roundabout. So I'm gonna plant a stake here. If you can use rebar instead of stakes, I would. Rebar goes into anything, wood stakes don't. Now that this side is loosely set, let's go set the other side. And I know somebody's thinking, hey, pound that middle one in, let's pull from it. But that would be dead wrong. That would be the problem I kept making on the first time. So we're gonna unwind our second stake as well. Now some people might say, hey, Joel, just pull that tight, pound it in, boom, you know where it's gonna be. But that only tells me my diameter. It doesn't really tell me where I want it. And I know that this rock in front of you is the corner of my shop. And I definitely don't want the roundabout to take up any of this space. I actually want to come off of it just a little bit. So I'm gonna to come to, let's say right about here, give or take 10, 11 feet off my shop. Now we grab our line that we know is 46 feet both way and we pull it until we're tight between the two. There is a sunflower in the way of this one. That's been a problem this whole time. Okay, so right there, feels really good because it's taut between both lines. 
Now I know this location right here is going to be the center of my roundabout. So that's how simple it is to figure out a diameter and a location of my roundabout. And the reason I went backwards with that instead of that way is because I know I didn't want to push the roundabout into the house any further. I don't care if the radius goes 46 feet from center that way, but I do care if it goes too far that way. So I pulled it back the direction I want, away from the shop, away from the house, and I've set the location and it's good to go. All right, here's the cool part. Now we're going to paint out our lines. And so what you do here is grab one of your stakes and your paint stick and just pull it tight and follow it. So now we start spraying and following this line. Now we know we're gonna be within a few inches or something, but we're just trying to get the base. And you just pull it tight from the center. go you guys that is how easy it is to create a radius somewhere in your yard now if you're gonna do a tree ring around a tree you just tie a string pull it tight to whatever dimension you want it and wrap it all the way around and that cuts it I have a video explaining that and I will leave that in the description if you are trying to decide where you want say a circular flower bed to go and you know you want it so far off of certain fence lines or certain distances away from portions of your property who knows what this is the best way to do it take three stakes Make them equal dimensions apart, and then start just determining it. And before you paint anything, I definitely recommend you walk where you've pulled that string to and really feel if it hits anything. I could have saved a lot of paint and a lot of trouble if I'd have done the three stake method rather than the just two stake, putting one and walking it. I was making perfect circles the entire time, but they were circles that were not really where I wanted things to go. And so that's why I have a million different paint lines out here for my excavator to come start digging through. And now I've made one, it is marked with paint and flags. And now we know exactly where to grub off for the roundabout portion of our driveway. You guys, I am excited to get this driveway done and in because it will finish our zoning clearance. That's the last thing that we're waiting on. And at the end of the day, it's for my own protection. The reason they want the road to be so big and to be so wide and to be a certain material is so that EMS can get down here in the event of an accident. And when you're building your house by yourself, there's a good chance you're gonna have an accident and you need them to get out here as quick as possible. So following the guidelines, although it may seem like a pain at the time, it is for my benefit and I'm grateful for it. If you guys wanna see how we build this road, that vlog is coming soon. So subscribe, hit the notification bell, and don't miss any of today's test videos. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Gotta spit out my seeds. Can't waste them though. Gotta crack them. Mmm, it's a breakfast of champions. Our driveway, or the street ends, since our street starts, and so, there's a simple way I figured out. Sorry. When I initially. Sorry. Uh, I may have made a boo boo here. Okay, now that that's loosely set, let's go set our other side. Bam, yeah, technical difficulties. I can't even see my other stuff. Did it get knocked down? Son of a. Can't pound it in without your hammer, dummy. Nope, 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 sunflower. Ah. You guys, if you want to see how we built this road, stay tuned. Or 